is start the base of the head here and just pull out. Hi everyone, welcome to Paint for Fun. Today I'm going to show you how to paint that little baby fawn tutorial that I posted earlier. So for this tutorial, we're going to need a round brush, a medium one, and we're going to need a small round brush as well. So we have uh, primary colors plus we have black and white. So we have black, white, red, yellow, blue. I have a small canvas that I'm working on. Uh, you can work as big as you want. You can do this on cardboard as well if you don't have a canvas lying around. So let's get started. What I'm gonna do to begin is just take my medium brush, rinse it out, and I'm going to design the outline of the deer. So because we're working with brown tones for this and I'm just doing the outline for now. I'm gonna go a lot lighter. I'm gonna do the outline in a light, light, light pink. So if I do mess up, I can always correct it. So I'm just taking very, very little red on my brush, a little bit of white. I wanna keep it as pale as possible. Now, take a section on your canvas. We're gonna focus on the middle area. So the head is almost like a triangular shape. It's rounded though, okay? So don't go too high because you don't want the neck to be super long. It's a deer, so it does have a smaller neck. It's not like a giraffe. So keep it towards the center of the canvas here. And we're gonna start small. So I always say this, always start small because if you need to go bigger, you can. If you start way too big and you mess up, it's gonna be hard to correct and you're gonna have to cover that outline with white. So I'm gonna just start by drawing this triangular shape. I am rounding out the edges. So it's almost kind of like a pear shape, basically an upside down pear shape. Okay. And we're gonna just make a little bit lighter for this. Anyways, like I said, if you do end up wanting to touch up a line, you can always cover it with white afterwards. From there, we're gonna draw the torso. So I'm just gonna do a slight curved line like here. Same thing on the other side and another curved line here okay so we have the head and the torso now the chest area what we're gonna do next is start with the ears so the ears is almost like an almond shape and because it's a small deer we're gonna give it bigger ears okay so i'm gonna start bulging out here just like that round off the tips and then you can Curve inwards and outwards. Okay, so we have one ear there. We're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So you could start by just creating a rounded line. And same thing, we're gonna curve around the tip here. Curve it in a little bit and curve it out. Okay, so if you wanna touch up the shape later on, you can. Or now you can touch it up if you don't, if they're not matching perfectly, but it doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical. Nobody's perfectly symmetrical anyways. All right, so we're gonna leave that as is. Next, I'm gonna switch to my little brush for the face and details in the face. Again, I'm just mapping out where everything's gonna be in that light pink color. Just gonna take a little bit of that pink again. And where the nose is, I'm just gonna start by creating a rounded shape. I'm gonna point it towards the top very slightly. It's still round, but not a perfect, perfect circle. And I'm just gonna round out the bottom here. So basically what's gonna happen is you're gonna have the base of the nose here, and then 
was going to curve outwards. So what I'm doing is right where the ear is, right below here, I'm going to start drawing this curved line and connecting it to the nose. Okay, same thing on the other side. We're going to go right below the ear, leave a little space here, draw that curved line and connect it to the nose, just like that. And for the eyes, again, we're gonna do this lastly, but I'm just mapping out where they are gonna be. So I'm gonna do another curved line, just like here, curving downwards, and another one here, same area, curving in and downwards. And from there, I'm just gonna create a nice circle so we might end up covering some areas once we're filling in the colors of the deer but if you end up covering some of the outlines you could retrace them afterwards okay so it's almost like a half circle here and same thing on that side all right so we have the shape of the deer. We're gonna do the antlers last. I'm gonna start by adding some color in there. So I'm gonna rinse out my small brush, put it on the side for now. I'm gonna go back to the medium round brush, okay? Pick up some water. We're gonna be working with some brown tones here. So I'm working with primary colors. I'm gonna show you a few ways to mix browns. Uh, we could start with a darker base and then work our way with the lighter tones. So for the dark base, I'm gonna start with a orange color on the side. So I'm gonna take a little bit of red paint here, mix it with some yellow. Okay, now I'm gonna rinse this out. I'm gonna mix a purple color. So I'm gonna take a little bit of blue, not too, too much. Let's pick another section here. Take a bit of red, a little more of a warm purple. Okay, and now I'm gonna start mixing these two together very slightly. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of this purple color and just start mixing a bit of that orange color in there. And you're gonna see, you're gonna start getting a more dirty brown tone. It's gonna be a warmer brown, which is what we want. So for the undertones, the shadows, we could start blocking them out in this color. We're not gonna apply too, too much paint. Start by just testing it out on your canvas. See the tone that you have. If you want to add a little more, I find that's a bit red, so I'm going with a little more yellow in there. I don't need a lot of paint for this. I'm going to wipe off quite a bit of the excess here. And I'm just going to start by retracing the torso a little bit and just starting to dab a few brush strokes here and there. Keep everything vertical but following the shape of the torso okay so underneath here we're gonna give it a bit of a shadow opposite side as well we can start laying down some of this color keep the belly area pretty light because it's gonna be a lighter tone of brown almost white so very gently little tiny brush strokes here and there and just covering the outlines basically, the outer areas of the deer and not focusing too much on the center. Now we're gonna start with the ears here. Add a bit here, but at any time, if you wanna switch to the small brush, if you find this is too big, you can, okay? So we're just gonna outline the ear here at the top. Maybe create a bit of a darker edge down here. Take up a little more paint on my brush. Going right to the tip here. Could round this out. Very gently, so very little pressure on your brush. 
You can start making these little fine lines in the ear as well. I'm adding just a bit in the center. So we're gonna add more and more color to this. I'm gonna start getting all these different tones. Maybe the head up here, I'm gonna add just a little bit. I'm starting to work my way in very slightly. Same on this side. I'm always pulling it towards the center of the nose here. So this whole part is gonna be darker brown and around the eye area is gonna be a little bit lighter. So I'm always following that shape. All the lines I'm pulling towards the center are gonna be curved. They're not gonna be perfectly vertical or horizontal. I'm always following the rounded shape of the head. So I'm just pulling very, very gently. Take a tiny bit more pain. And start pulling down. So again, barely any pressure on my brush. I really want to keep it light, not too, too dark, not too intense. I'm not filling in the entire shape. I'm just doing a couple of strokes here and there. So it also gives it the illusion that um, there's fur. I'm tracing the outer area of the ear, bring it in a little bit here, and I can round it out. I'm going to take my little brush for the tip. So round that out a little bit. And start bringing it in. Okay, so for the center of the belly, we are going to be working lighter, but I'm just going to add just a couple of little brush strokes. So we'll have some undertones as well. So I'm keeping it messy. Again, always following the shape of the torso, that curved line. So what I'm gonna do now is maybe add a bit more of that purple color in there. Very little. I'm gonna go a little bit darker. So you can even add a tiny bit more blue, more red. Get a little bit darker, so it's gonna be a little more chocolatey. And just around the ears here, I'm gonna create a couple of strokes with a darker tone of brown, just to give it a bit of a shadow on one side. If you want to add some dark bits where the snout is, you can. Very gently, very little, not too, too much. It's just to give it some more tones of brown, a more realistic effect. The more tones you have, the nicer it'll look anyways. So maybe around the ear here, right up the edge, give it a bit of a shadow. Now when you're working with acrylics, um, yes, they dry fast, but at any point during the painting, if you want to go back and you feel like you want to add a little bit more of the dark or a little bit of lighter color, you can, like, you can always go back and correct or adjust wherever you want. Okay, so we're going to stop there for now. We're going to start working our way to the lighter tones now, okay? So I'm going to take my medium brush again. So I'm gonna make another type of brown. What we're gonna do is, you can also use this one and just lighten it with some white. So 
So let's see how that goes. If I want to just lighten it a little bit. So I don't mind it, but it is a bit orangey. Okay, so I want to go more with like a cooler tone. So I'm going to add a bit of that yellow and a tiny, tiny bit of blue just to dirty it. So I'm going to add more of that brown in there. So now it became a cooler brown. Okay, it has like a bit of a green tinge to it. That's what I want to work with for now. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the paint, apply it to the canvas here, just in certain areas. I'm going to start working where the belly is, and then we're going to go back to a warmer tone as well. So maybe around here, a little bit in the ear as well. So I'm gonna start putting in more of an orangey tone. So I have this orange that I had earlier, that I mixed earlier. I'm gonna keep that, add a bit of that dirty green tone to it. Bit of white. So let's just do a couple little streaks of this orangey color just to give it a little bit of a pop. So you really have like a lot of variety of different colors here you can play with. So we have a pretty dark base here. We're going to start adding some nice highlights to it. Rinsing out my brush, we're going to start working with some more nudes, nude tones. So what for that, I'm going to take a little bit of red, a little more yellow, mix that together, add quite a bit of white to that. So at any point, if you feel, oh, it's a little too yellow right now, I'm going to add a little more red to it just a tiny bit go a bit at a time because red is very very overpowering I'm also going to pick up that bit of that dirty tone that I had earlier just to kind of mute it a little bit so that greenish brown that I had mixed earlier just take a tiny bit of that just to tone down the color slightly add a bit more white you want to make it pretty pale All right, so I'm gonna start working with this now. Start working on the belly area. So I'm gonna start by just creating a few lines. Getting into that fur very gently. Like I said, at any point, if you feel like switching to your small brush, you can. I'm gonna take some more white get really light in there and start going back and forth where the eyes okay so very very gently you can start working around going over some areas always keeping the layer of color very light because you still want to see your undertones you don't want to go too too dark Same with the other ear. So I'm gonna rinse out my brush. I might move on to my little brush. So again, I'm going to continue working with some paler tones. Take more of that 
brownish green tone that I had. Add a bit of white to that. And start going back in here very lightly. Start adding some spots on the side. I'm gonna go really light now. I'm gonna add a lot more white to that. To the center. On the side, you can always go back and work with the different tones. So right now I'm working with the lightest one, the medium, the more orangey tone, a little bit that greenish brown tone. So I'm working with all of these colors. Just lay them down wherever you'd like on the canvas. So you're still gonna see all those undertones that we had created earlier. Even if I feel like I covered some too much, I can always go back. So might go back to that dark tone always play with the different colors you can even mix some new colors on your plate so what I did is I took that darker brown tone mixing it with that greenish it's gonna give you a whole new color you could start working with all sorts of different browns the key is just to experiment Sometimes you won't be happy with the color, so you can start over or cover it or do whatever works for you. Always experiment. That's the best way to figure out what's, what works on your canvas. Always, always experiment. So I'm keeping it pretty messy. I'm not making it super clean. center. Just want it to stand out a little bit. Keep it nice and pale. more of that warm orangey tone on this side just a little bit So I'll let that be for now and start working on the head a little bit. So same concept, we're going to add color, all these different tones of brown, continue working with the lighter tones. If you feel like you covered a little too much of the base, you can go back with some darker tones as well. So just have fun with it. Pick up your different browns. The idea is you want to keep whatever sticks out further on your head will have a highlight. So because the head is rounded, this round part in the center is bulging out a little more. So that's where you're gonna have your highlight. Wherever it goes inwards towards the ears, that's where you're gonna have a little bit of a darker tone, okay? So keep that in mind. And just, again, have fun with it. So I'm just applying all these different streaks of color. dark again just for the side because I feel like it's a little too covered. And again always keeping my 
brush strokes very small following that shape of the head because I want to give it the illusion that it's round and I also want to give it the illusion that there's fur on it. So always keeping very short rounded brush strokes. Working my way with all the different tones from mediums, darker, light, always experiment, always continue mixing. You're going to discover some new colors as you keep mixing. Nice highlight in the center. We're going to start working where the ears are a little bit just to lighten it up. So right in the center here. Just adding a bit of white to kind of create a bit of a highlight. Again with the head. I might add a bit more of an orangey tone just around here to warm the color a little bit. Bit more of a darker orange tone. Okay, some of that dark brown. You'll always have some darker areas, which is what we want. Shadows. start working on the other ear now. I can rinse out my brush, pick up some of that lighter tone, the warmer color, and just go lighten this a little bit. peachy color. Get some lines in the middle there. Soften it up a little bit. You want to add a little bit in the head as well just to kind of warm it. So I'm going to continue just a little bit more till I'm happy with the result. Like I said, you can go back and forth with all these different tones of brown. So play around the areas of the eye here. You can add a little more if you want. If you're happy with it, you can stop. <laughs> but if you want to continue to play with it, now's the time because then we're going to start working on the really light areas around the cheeks and we're gonna add the eyes and stuff so right now i'm just mixing a bunch of different tones all together so wherever i feel like adding something i am i'm there's no like specific tone that i'm working with or one color i'm really just going back and forth i'm mixing them all if i want to go lighter adding some light bits if i want to go darker adding some darker bits Okay, so I'm always keeping those little brush strokes kind of like fur. Very gently. If it's a little too intense, at any point you can just, like I said, go over and correct it. I'm gonna work my way down here, kind of 
keeping that shape. Darkening, I'm gonna start darkening it slightly where the nose is gonna be. Okay. again and again always go back and forth till you're happy with the result you can touch up your lines a little bit make sure they're nice and curved straight wherever you want to touch it up go for it now's the time okay I'm gonna start going light now take a bit of white start light Getting in there with this lighter tone. Other side, take a bit of white. The lightest beige tone and just going in there a little bit. Right around the eye area. Getting that nice highlight underneath. And around the nose area. start working around here now. So I feel like maybe this could use a little bit more contrast, so I'm going to go light again. And wherever, like I said, you want to touch up, go for it. I feel like maybe I'm going to lighten just one side of the ear a little more. Pulling towards the center. So like I said, just touch up whatever area you feel like touching up. Keep adding until you're happy with it. Go lighter again and add just a couple of little strokes here. All right, so I'm gonna stop there for now. We're gonna start working on the nose and the mouth. I mean, the mouth. we're gonna start working with the nose and the eyes now. Um, we're gonna add some antlers afterwards. So for the nose, I'm gonna do a very, very dark purple. It's gonna be almost black. So I'm gonna take a bit of red, a bit of blue, mix that together. I might add a tiny bit of black to it. So when you're mixing red and blue together, you could get a purple that's so dark, it pretty much looks black. So I'm gonna test that out on the canvas. Um, like I said, the nose is rounded shape, right? So yeah, I'm gonna continue like this. I don't feel like adding black to this. Uh, so I'm gonna retrace that oval shape, that rounded shape. At the top here, I'm gonna start pulling it in very, very gently. Very thin lines, 
Again, not a lot of pressure on the canvas, very delicately pulling it into the snout basically. And I'm rounding off the shape here. Okay, so we could start filling that in. If you feel like it's too purple, you could add a bit of black. Maybe I'll do that now. I don't usually like using a pure, pure black because I like it when it has a bit of a warmer or cooler tone to it. So I always tend to mix my colors together with a tiny bit of black if I want to use something that's very dark. I'm just staining the bottom here. Go back to the light just because I want to see how that will look if I add just a couple of light strokes to it, just to kind of lighten it very slightly very gently and hardly any pressure on my brush what I'm gonna do next is same color I might add a bit more black to it Let's start working on the eyes. So for the eyes, retrace that shape one more time. So we're gonna curve out. Also make it a bit longer so it kind of has a bit of an eyelash here. Curve it downward like this. And then you could start creating that nice round circle. And fill that in. Same thing on the other side. Curve that line and retrace that circle. So again, start small with the circle. If you feel like you need to adjust it afterwards, you can. So I'm happy with that shape. I'm gonna take a bit of white now and do some highlights in the nose and the eyes. So what I'm gonna do is little brush, tiny, tiny bit of white. I'm gonna start by just outlining the bottom of the nostrils here. So imagine the nostril shape is on the side. We just wanna make a little bit of a little curved line up here, down there. Base is still a little wet, so if you feel like your paint is too, too wet, you can just give it a little bit of a drying break first before you tackle it. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of a curved line here. And finally, we're gonna highlight the nose at the top. So, very gently start pulling in. We're gonna go a bit brighter afterwards because right now my base is still a little bit wet so it's kind of hard to get good coverage. Pulling it down here a little bit. 
take a little more paint. Might take a bit of black and get right in those nostrils. It's not a dark Hold inside. A bit more white to outline it because the line is not super clean and the base is a little bit wet. So you want to get a nice clean line. Uh, let me try a second layer here. Okay, so it's drying pretty fast. Give it another layer of white. While that dries a little bit, we can work on the eye. So for the eye, we're gonna create a little highlight. So right here at the top, we can do a little dot here in white and Same on the other side. Okay. So I might clean up this line a little bit. I don't feel like I like that it's sticking out too much, so I'm gonna switch this brush, take a bit of white paint and just touch that up. So I'm just thinning out his face a little bit. If you want to add a background color to this, you can of course. I'm just keeping my base white. So like I said, now's the point. Anytime you want to touch something up, you can. So if you feel like you want to add a bit more paint or readjust something, you can. Going back with that dark here and just making his head at the top a little bit larger. the light and get some nice highlights right above the eye. Same on the other side, I'm gonna just highlight the top of the eyes here. So again, if you want to touch up any area, go for it. Now's the time. Play around with it until you're happy with it. Let's go a bit more now in the center. So again, having just a bit of a highlight below here on the chest area. Now the paint's dry so you could really see it pop. If you want to add something on the ears, a little bit of a highlight, you can. Again, always just to make it pop a little more.
So again, you keep touching up wherever you want until you're satisfied with the outcome. Once you are, we're gonna work on the antlers. Okay, so I feel like I'm gonna leave it as is for now. to the antlers now. So for the antlers, I'm gonna use the um, medium round brush. I'm gonna mix a very dark brown. So for that, I'm gonna do some red and yellow. So red and yellow. I'm gonna take a blue and purple. I mean blue and red, sorry, to make purple. And I'm going to mix those two together very gently. So again, always play with your color. If you feel like it looks a little too green, add a bit more red to it. You can really get so many different tones of brown. I want to keep it pretty dark. So for the antlers, what I'm going to do is start the base of the head here and just pull out like so very gently. If you want to use your small brush, you can. I might use my little brush for the little antlers. start making little antlers wherever you want. It's almost like making branches. So I'm not gonna make them too big. Go back to this other brush. And do the same thing. So we're gonna Start here, curve it out. Take a little more paint, and again, I'm gonna give it a second coat. thick at the top but once it's dry I could readjust that with some white just touch it up and if you want to give it a bit of a highlight you can as well just take a little bit of white paint All right, so there you have it. So this is the little deer painting. Um, 
again, if you want to keep playing with it, go for it until you're happy with the results. And that's it. Thanks for joining us today. If um, you do try this painting, just post it. I'd love to see your results. And please like and subscribe our page. Thanks for watching.